We're talking more earnings on the tech side in chip, in the chip space. AVGO Broadcom reports after the close. Kevin, this stock's uh, up about 63, 64% this year, just below all-time highs going into earnings. Um, I mean, give me your thoughts here because only 15% of their revenue or their business and sales is the AI. Now, that's supposed to ramp up through the end of 2024 up to maybe 25%, but that's what I think everybody's betting on. I've seen price target hikes across the board from some analysts. Piper Sandler yeah, just, just raised. Just due to the fact that the exposure to the AI market, right? The, you know, NVIDIA's little brother here in this space, yeah. and it's done, it's done really well this year. Yeah, uh, you know, they raised the price target from $830 to $925. They maintained their overweight. They expect them, in very short, they expect them to beat, and they expect them to raise guidance go, going forward. So pretty much good news here. Um, listen, I, I think this company, the way, their guidance should be around smartphone demand mm -hmm. and how they'll play a role in smartphone demand. But, you know, this is a company, the, you know, the valuation's getting a bit stretched here, but the numbers, you know, their, their margins are big. You know, they're right in the, they're waist deep in semiconductors. It's chips for networking components, broadband, wireless, infrastructure, data centers. I mean, everything that's enormously popular right now with semiconductors, they're in it. Yeah, and Nathan, to Kevin's point, they're in all these businesses, but we've seen a softness in the smartphone market. We've seen a softness uh, in broadband, wireless a little bit. And AI is kind of taking the load off of some of the uh, downturn and maybe the bottoming cycle in some of those other segments of their business. What's your take here uh, on uh, Broadcom? Can AI rescue it this quarter? Well, you know, if you look at their last earnings report, uh, it was not in the guidance. It was basically flat revenue growth. And, you know, if, if I, I'm looking at the analyst estimates right now, looking for maybe 45 bucks from 41. So that's about 10 percent EPS um, on the revenue side. It's basically going up about 10 percent, 35.8 billion to 38.1 billion. So. You've got to, you know, to Kevin's point, it's funny, he said it's getting a little stretched because it's getting stretched for Broadcom <laughs> at a 20 PE. Yeah. I mean, this this stock has historically traded at a sub-market multiple. It's been cheap historically. It's grown primarily through acquisitions. And so you've got a, a, a stock that has a 20 PE and about a 10% growth rate. That gets you at about, you know, a two peg ratio, which is eh, it's about standard. And then to Kevin's point, look at the price target. Piper Sandler goes to 9.25. The stock's at 9.15. Okay, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, ten dollars, right, yeah. ten dollars no higher. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why don't you just make it 9.16 while we're here? <laughs> yeah. So, so it's. I think it just speaks to. Okay, we got yes, sound fundamentals, and the potential for AI to contribute more. You mentioned up to 25% next year, Tom. So yes, there there's the potential for that demand to pull up those estimates. Um, but out of at this 20 PE, it's like, all right, you're going to have to show me then. Yeah, and uh, and it's not just Piper Sandler. I believe there's a thousand dollar price target on it because of this AI and the total addressable market. Uh, and they and the buy exposure. back stock, and they have a two percent di uh, dividend yield. So yeah. it's not like they're not giving money back to investors. Right, uh, and that's not common yeah, uh, in the right. tech space. But Nathan. I looked at this implied volatilities. It's elevated, right? Going into these uh, earnings, right? There's some event risk here, but $38 either way is what the option market's pricing in. That's not much more than a 4% move in the shares at a $915 stock. So it, maybe it's the rally that's kind of taken some of the edge off of that implied volatility.